All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take that same song structure, the map that we just created, and we are going to come into Juiced and use hot cues to separate out where the sections are. All right, so let's go ahead and convert this uh, from phrases because what I've marked, I've just marked the one of the phrase, right? Um, so let's convert this from phrases to bars. So this was eight bars, eight bars, eight bars, eight bars, eight bars, two bars, eight, eight, eight. Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> See some pattern here, right? All right? So now this two bar section that happened, this I, I put as a star. And we'll, we'll talk about that in just a few here when we pull this up. But let's start to go ahead and take these hot cues. We're still in prepare mode. And I actually like prepare mode for another reason too, is that it gives us more down here also. So I have my hot cues. I've also got my beat grid, which we'll talk about editing the grid later. Uh, we won't do that right now. And then it also has my loop controls and also this jump control, which again, we'll talk about these things in just a moment. So what we can see here is when I move the cursor to be exactly on, you'll see that it says 1.1 bars. So I'm at the 1.1. One, one. I'm at the very, very beginning of the track. And that's perfect. That's where I want to be. Um, so let's go ahead and let me just make this full here. And let's go ahead and hit a one. So now I set a mark at the very beginning and it's there. Perfect. Okay, so um, our play button is here and let's go ahead and hit play. I can also zoom in and out of the waveform by hitting the minus key. And then if I hit the plus, I can zoom in. So technically speaking, the way to hit the plus is to hold shift and then that plus key and that will zoom in because otherwise if you just hit that keyboard key, it technically is a is equal sign, uh, but the negative still works. So negative and then hold shift to get into the, into the zoom in. All right, so I can also scrub along the track. You're able to see that, right? And this is where the actual vocal starts right here on my nine, right? So our Intro was eight bars, perfect, right? And I can keep zooming out if I want or zoom in to be able to see it. All right, so let's, let's do this. Instead of going through and setting a hot cue for every single section, like I'm not necessarily gonna, I don't care as much about the length of the, of the rap, of the verse. I don't care so much about that. I really care about this here, this here, this here and this length. These are the, the sections that I really need to know, right? These are the places that I would be getting out. And then I also want to know, I'll use a different color, I'll also want to know the way in, right? So our ins and our outs. So let's see, how are we going to get in and how are we going to get out, right? So these are the sections that I've, I'm particularly interested in. I'm going to go ahead and find these parts of the song. So let's jump ahead a little bit. So this is that build that I need you now, pre-chorus, right? Following along with me right here. That's this section right here. And then we're gonna have our chorus that comes. And one. Right, so there should be a mark right here. I'm going to set a mark right there. Now I want to make sure that I'm exactly on uh, the grid. So you see these little marks here. This is my grid and I want to make sure that I'm exactly on the grid. So let me zoom in to make sure. So you see how I'm not exactly on the grid? I want to make sure that I'm exactly there because if I set a cue, it should snap to the grid. So right now, this is snapping to the grid, which is a, a nice function here so that it can make sure that you are, are, are tight enough on it. Um, all right, so here we go and keep playing. So this was this little two bar section I'm talking about right here. Five. Six. Seven. Two. Three. Four. Eight. Two. Three. Four. One. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and one. Right, so that's a little two-bar section, and that that could throw me off there. 
Now, if I wasn't sure and I wanted to make sure like, okay, this is, this is how long that section is, I can use my beat jump controls to be able to do that. So let me show you how we could do that. Let's actually move from my prepare to my two decks. And inside of the beat jump, you could see that I could use these controls. So I was on hot cue, now I come over to beat jump, and now I can use these controls to help check. So let's say I wanted to go back. Well, this is going back one beat. That's going forward one beat. So these are in terms of beats. So this is one full bar, one, uh, a second bar. So that's two bars back, three bars back, four bars back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that section is technically ten bars, if I wanted to count it that way, which is correct. That's this eight and two, ten bars, right? Um, all right, so let's zoom back out. Let's go back to our prepare mode again. Um, and that's our first course. So we can either say that that's an eight bar course with this two bar turn, or that's just an eight bar course, or we could call it a 10 bar course. It's really up to you. There's not a, uh, a mapping police that's gonna come around. This is all meant to be um, for you to understand your music better so that you know when to start the next song, when to get out of these things. So here we go, set another point. Um, and one. This time, this is just an eight bar chorus. And then it goes into the bridge. Five. Six. Seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, and bridge. So we can set a point on the bridge if we want, but let's, I, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set one. There. Let's rewind that back again. And one. I've got eight bars, and then I've got this eight bar acapella section to get out here too. So I'll set a, a point maybe there as well. You'll see it's blinking because it's nearing the end. And one. Nice. Okay, so we're only going to use the first four right now. Um, it, it says that we can't use this feature because we're in demo mode of hitting this fifth one. Watch, when I say that, this says this is a locked feature on the bottom of my screen, which no worries. Um, we need to plug in the controller and we'll do that in just a moment. Um, but I just wanted to get you to understand how we're gonna translate the uh, map that we created to now these hot cues. And this is gonna help us figure out how to get in and out of the song. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix them together and I wanna show you how I can just mix these together. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them together using my hot cues. So I know that this is the beginning of the first chorus. All right, I know that that's the first chorus. So that's when I wanna line up this one. So Imagino, I know this already because I know the song and I've already mapped it, but the song has a eight bar intro. Two. Three, four, two, three, four, five. And it goes for eight bars. And I, I would hope that you trust me on that. Okay, so here we go. So basically, I'm going to line up these two parts so that when the second hot cue, this yellow one, when this one starts, then also this blue one, my first hot cue on my right deck, should start. And they should be mixed together. Now, I need to make sure that I have sync on. So let me make sure I turn sync on. All right, I've got sync on both sides. And they are the same BPM now. And now I'm gonna, just gonna back it up a little bit. And we're just gonna mix this. All right, so here we go. And. Four more bars. Nice. Okay, so a nice, simple mix. Um, using the map, it was really easy, right? Because if I line up this with this, 
then everything should be all good, right? Assuming that everything is synced up properly. Let's do this one more time, just so you can see it again. And this time I also want you to pay attention to what my hands are doing with the faders, right? Like how I'm bringing this up and then when I take this out. The important thing about the map though is you've got to trust the map. You have to uh, know that you map this properly um, and not get freaked out and pull out of it too quick. All right, so here we go again. And one. Slightly off. I'm going to adjust it. Cool. Now that time I, I was actually using the nudge to nudge the track ahead because I noticed that based on the beta line, it didn't come in exactly right. Now, before when I did that, I just unsynced it and synced it back and everything snapped in. So either way, you can do that. Um, we'll get deeper into making this adjustment on the jog wheel at a later lesson, but I just want you to really understand this concept of mapping. But I just want you to understand this concept of mapping and how we can map out a song and then translate what we've mapped out to our hot cues to better understand how to get in and out of songs. This is probably one of the biggest secrets to being a better mixing DJ. Um, I hope you got that. I want to make sure that if you didn't, you can always hit pause, rewind, watch this again. You can watch this as much as you want. Um, really let this soak in. And we're also going to go deeper with this in our next lesson. Great job today with day two. Clap it up. I'll see you guys tomorrow.